Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Chapter 23, Gauss law, problem number 18. The electric field just above the surface of a charged conducting drum of a photocopying machine has a magnitude E of uh, 2.3 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per Coulomb. Uh, what is the surface charge density? What is the surface charge density on the drum? So this is some drum of uh, drum surface of a photocopying surface, photocopying machine. Uh, field is given, but it is mentioned that field just above the surface. Okay, just above this conducting surface. Field just above the conducting surface is given is. Uh, 2.3 into 10 to the power 5, 2.3 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per Coulomb. Now just very close to a conducting surface, very close to a conducting surface from Gauss law applications, Gauss law uh, during uh, while doing this chapter you must have gone through this, outside, just outside a conducting surface, just outside a conducting surface field is equal to sigma by epsilon 0 just outside a conducting surface field is equal to epsilon uh, sigma divided by epsilon 0 just have a look here if this is a conducting body and this there is some charge there is some charge and you consider a gaussian surface like this a cubical gaussian surface if the surface is very close if the gaussian surface is very close to the surface then field can be considered as uniform and field inside is zero. Okay, field inside a metallic body is always zero. So field is zero inside and outside. Suppose field is equal to A. And uh, surface charge density is sigma at this point. Then uh, from Gauss law, integration of E dot dA, which is the flux through a closed surface, is equal to Q enclosure divided by epsilon zero. Q enclosure divided by epsilon zero. Now there isn't any field line crossing this side. There isn't any field line crossing this side. There is no field here. So field is passing through any uh, only one phase that is this phase, the top phase. Okay. So flux is simply E into A. Okay. Flux is E into A, where A is the area of the top surface. Is equal to Q enclosed is sigma into A. Charge density into area divided by epsilon 0. A and A cancels out the field is equal to sigma divided by epsilon 0. So field just outside a metallic surface, just outside a conducting surface is always sigma divided by epsilon 0. If it is a non-conducting sheet, if it is a non-conducting sheet, then it is sigma divided by twice epsilon 0. But if it is a conducting sheet and that too very close to the surface, it is sigma divided by epsilon 0. So we have to find out uh, surface charge density. So we have to find out sigma and E, uh, e is given. So let us find it out. E is sigma divided by epsilon 0 which implies sigma is equal to epsilon 0 into A. Epsilon 0 is 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 in SI system and field is given is 2.3 into 2.3 into 10 to the power 5 that too in SI system. So uh, if you work this out this comes out to be 2.04 2.04 into 10 to the power minus 6 into 10 to the power minus 6. We use both of them in SI system so, so what we get will also be in SI system. This is charge density which is coulomb per meter square or this is 10 to the power minus 6 so we can also write 2.04 a micro coulomb per meter square. So 2.04 into 10 to the power minus uh, minus 6 coulomb per meter square or 2.04 micro coulomb per meter square. That will do for this session.